Hello and welcome to another One Piece TCG unboxing. Uh, today with the best set. And yeah, I haven't opened One Piece in a long time. My first and last box was set number three. But it feels like it's probably like a year ago. I don't know. And then it got pretty difficult to get your hands on English One Piece. Got pretty expensive and... Yeah, I was more focused on other TCGs, but then I saw this release in Japan and it's, yeah, it looks like a great set with the chance to pull uh, even like God Packs and it got some great, uh, I think it's reprints. So it's like, maybe I'm stupid, but I think this is like some kind of reprint set. So yeah, and uh, the manga rares, look amazing in this set. Uh, my favorite manga pull actually would not be Nami. I know most people know me for my uh, for my waifu anime unboxings, but I've looked into the cards and my favorite hit from this set would actually be Ace. Like, yeah, Ace is my my favorite waifu, so wish me luck. And yeah, let's see if I'm, oh, if I'm focused at all. So yeah, I I don't know how to play the One Piece TCG. So to me, it like doesn't really matter if the cards are in English or Japanese. Don't have a local game store. Don't have brands. But okay, this shopper looks cute. And this is a probably like a new special foiling just for this set with the logo. It's really well made. A lot of TCGs work with, especially like Duel Masters. If you have watched my Duel Masters unboxings, I I don't like it in Duel Masters. They do it very cheaply. But this logo, it builds up. It's not cheaply made. That looks actually cool. Yeah, Bandai, Bandai just know how to make cards. Oh, and I remember this one from from set number three. So I guess it is a reprint set. The foiling. I don't know if every holo foil in one piece is like this now, but you can see that her face is not like holographic, like her hair. But this is really cool. So her, like her body and her face is not holographic. This is so nice looking. Ooh, okay. A super rare. And of course, the art in the artwork in One Piece is amazing too. I really like that compared to to TCGs like Weiss Schwarz or Union Arena, where they are just using screenshots. And at this point, I'm just so sick. I mean, Digimon TCG has a, yeah also very great art, uh, original artwork, great artist. Great card quality too. Um, I wonder. It feels a little bit more thin compared to the to the English One Piece cards. They felt a little bit more, yeah, a little bit more stable or or thick. Don't know if the cardboard is uh, different. Who is she? Yeah, I don't know a lot of the characters to be honest. Like I'm not up to date with One Piece. I'm mostly opening this for the cards just to like see what they are doing to see like the nice foiling and texture okay oh yeah the the regular foiling looks so good this basic foiling and even if the artwork looks pretty dark and in real life you can really like tell the background from the character it looks so good another super rare and this time it's just a rare, so I guess this one was like a special pull. Uh, it has a, a star above the rarity and the framing is textured. And also like Soro is textured in the background. This looks very nice. And yeah, the, the combination of original artwork and manga art is just top tier. Like this is really my my favorite mix. 
they don't do it often enough for me that uh, PCGs, I don't know, maybe it's the licensing problem. But I, I saw in the Universes Attack on Titan T, uh, CCG, or TCG, CCG, uh, they also used the manga art and it looks just so much better than, yeah, what like Weiss Schwarz is doing for Union Arena. Okay, another just rare. Yeah, I don't know, they... <laughs> Because they want to make this really special and compared to to other TCGs that uh, use like logos, it looks good. But for me personally, um, the rarities or like the foil cards with the logo are not as good as like the basic foil. They are just already so good looking. So. Yeah, this is like more of the basic. Man, it's probably nah. I could make a, a compare compare it with something, but most international people probably don't know it. But like in uh, in school, we did like photo shootings, and we. Oh, I probably have like an old picture of me, uh, and they used like these basic backgrounds too for the school shootings. Uh, not shootings, not not. Like in America, the kind of shootings, like photo shootings, like without a gun. Uh, this is just a rare, a super rare. Ooh, another star card with a... Uh... This looks really cool. This time... Yeah, I think the frame is still textured, but a little bit more subtle. It feels like more subtle, I don't know. But yeah. Very nice effect in the in the background tool. It's like some kind of swirl. So yeah, I don't know the pull ratio if we are supposed to get like a certain number of. Uh... Ooh, what is this? Uh, yeah, I I don't know if there is like anything guaranteed in this box. This looks special. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is like this is why I collect cards when they when I'm using like these gold outlines and also combining it with certain kind of uh, texture and the the gold stamped lettering. This is really what makes um, card collecting worth it for me. I don't know if if a pull like this is guaranteed per box, but you can see some some kind of texture in the flame. And of course, like the the gold outlines. This is this is why I love cards. This is amazing. But yeah, there's like also like some low lower rarity. Okay, this looked very special, but it's just a common foil. Uh, I think some lower rarity Boa Hancock, which looked very nice from the artwork. Oh, and she and a. In this special foiling yeah but yeah they they are doing such a great job from just looking at the top five of the most uh, popular TCGs like Pokemon Magic Yu-Gi-Oh and what's number four I don't know flesh and blood I don't know from the just from the yeah like, I opened some TCGs, but nobody knows them and nobody plays them, and they have sometimes very great texture. Oh, that's cute. But, yeah, nobody knows them, nobody plays them, but from the TCGs that, uh, like, see international play, I think One Piece is just, like, one of probably, like, the best from, like, card manufacturing and foiling and stuff. They do an amazing job. This looks so cute, and I, I really like the art style. This one. <coughs> oh, yeah. Another super rare, and the samurai. Who was it? Ri Ryuma. Oh, I, I haven't. Man, for... I was learning katakana for such a long time, and then life got busy, and I... 
my brainy is just like my two brain cells are still holding tight to some of the katakana but most of the katakana i have already forgotten again it's it's a shame oh yeah the, the colored also the colored uh manga art is so cool okay super rare of rafi and uh along okay yeah, not sure if like all cards are, are reprints from previous set. Can we tell somehow? Yeah, I guess the it didn't change the card number, so OP six. Yeah, I guess it's uh, I got I guess they are reprints. I think I can go a little bit faster through the common cards. Yeah, I yeah, this she is also from set three, I remember her. Another rare. Oh, a secret. Secret gear. What was it? Five, roughly. Gear five. I don't like the the character design in a lot of the artworks, to be honest. But in this artwork, it looks nice. I don't know. It looks like Ruffy turns ghost type, like a Pokemon. Not my, I don't know, maybe there's like some meaning behind the character design I don't get since I, I don't, I'm not up to date, but just from looking at him, it's, it feels like he's coming from a different anime. Okay. Secret rare. Still like not sure what is, what is guaranteed to get in this, in this box if there's like a, a textured card like this or like two. I have to look up, or maybe, yeah, maybe if you have opened this, leave me a comment, please. And of course, uh, leave me a comment if you want to see more One Piece. Like, ooh, uh, but this is not the one I I was seeing before. There was another artwork I liked, but yeah, if you want to see more One Piece, I of course I cannot like open probably every set since I don't have the money, but. Yeah, if you would like more, please consider subscribing, uh, leaving a comment, or yeah, just supporting the channel. I also have like channel membership and some um, some special like unboxings that are only available for channel members. So yeah. Okay, he really round, super rare, and just another rare. Yeah. I, I don't know how, how lucky I got, if I got lucky. But yeah, for more unboxings, please check out my channel and see you in my next unboxing. Bye.